Welcome to our Fast Devotional. My name is Anna Uliberry and I'm a pastor here at The Way World Outreach. And I love the fact that we fast every new year. And so for 2024, this is our devotionals for our fast. But I love it that when we fast and submit our will to God, He will reveal His will to us. And I love that. So to enhance our walk with God and our witness through fasting, the influence of our testimony will reach others for Christ. And that's what we want to do. We want to reach others for Christ. God will use us to bring people out of darkness into His wonderful light. And I want to share my experience with fasting. I'm a PK, a pastor's kid. My father was such a impressionable man when it came to fasting. He didn't do three-day fast, he did 40-day fast. But what he fasted for was that his witness would be so anointed and powerful that he would be able to bring people to Christ. And that was so impressionable upon me that when I was 16, that was my prayer. I began to fast so that God would use me to bring people out of darkness into the light. And I was young, naive, not quite sure how to do that. But fasting enhanced and anointed me to be able to do that. And so I'm really excited because my scripture today that I'm going to be reading is from Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 25. And this is what it says. It says this, One day Jesus was walking along the shore of the sea of Galilee and he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and Andrew, throwing a net into the water for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them and says, come follow me, I will make you fishers of men. And they left their nets at once and followed him. And little further up the shore, he saw two other brothers. He saw James and John sitting in a boat with their father Zebedee repairing their nets and he called them to come follow me they immediately followed him leaving the boat and their father behind jesus traveled throughout the region of galilee teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom and he healed every kind of disease and illness news about him spread as far as syria and people began bringing to him all who were sick and whatever their sickness or disease or if they were demon possessed or epileptic or paralyzed he healed them large crowds followed him wherever he went people from galilee the ten towns jerusalem all over judea and from east of the jordan river and i love the fact that the fasting in my scripture today so coincides with witnessing i love the fact that when jesus calls us and he says come he's calling us into a deep personal relationship and we must accept everything that jesus is when we do he will use us to build his kingdom and he was calling his disciples to build kingdom and little did they know that they were going to be witnesses and they were going to be disciple makers but they came giving everything to jesus and jesus used them you have to have certain qualities to be a fisherman and the qualities of a good fisherman are this they have patience they're skilled they have discernment persistence and quietness. We want to be persistent because we're going to catch fish, fishers of men. And I want to close out today with this. And we all know the scripture very well. It's Matthew 28, 19. We cannot talk about witnessing if we don't use the scripture. It says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Help the people to learn of me. That's what he's asking us to do to help people to learn of him, to believe in him, to obey his word. And that's how he uses us. He asks us to go and help people. And we do this through the power of the Holy Spirit. Then we baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I am so thankful that our church sets aside weeks in the beginning of the year to be able to allow us and to 
enter the kingdom of God, to fast, and so we can be what? Filled, that God can fill us to be witnesses all over the world. Our church is doing that, and I am so glad that God is using me to do so. I encourage you today, folks, fast so that you can be empowered to witness. This next year, we want to witness to the world. And so let's pray that that's what God will do for us during this time of fasting and prayer. So my encouragement to you today is to stay strong, to continue to witness, and to do that by fasting so that God can anoint you and empower you. God bless you today.